I first started playing rugby league. My brother went to training, so I just sort of followed him to training and I really enjoyed it. I just kept asking and asking my parents, oh, please, I want to play, I want to play. And I'd only have been five or six at the time, but they eventually gave in and <laughs> yeah, I've loved it ever since. I got to pick up this funny shaped ball and run around with it as a nine year old and have never looked back since I've played it. I started rugby when I was 12 years old, then I've ended up here playing in England. I'd say for me the biggest challenge was coming from up north and like there not being a huge amount of opportunities to get involved in women's rugby so there's like a lot of travelling that had to be done to get to a match or anything. The mixed rugby up to the age of under 12s were originally really welcoming but you still get those comments, oh tackler she's only a girl or she shouldn't be able to get through she's only a girl and that sort of thing which at the time drives you on but could easily be something that makes you walk away from the game. The biggest challenge for, for me playing rugby was probably the opportunities. There wasn't the infrastructure for, for girls to, to transition to, to girls only rugby. I'd like to challenge the perceptions around women's rugby and just showing everybody that women's rugby is a great standard and showing them what we can do on the pitch. A lot of girls struggle with feeling good being a strong woman, like being proud that like I'm a powerful athlete, I can run through people. That's just something that you sort of learn to love and you really respect that in other women. It can be quite daunting with the contact side of things, but you're in such a good group of friends immediately, like everyone welcomes you in and helps you through and it's just a really supportive environment. Go along, give it a go, have some fun running around with the funny shape ball that we love to play with.